Well, good morning everyone and welcome to my update for this week's newsletter. So, in classes this fortnight, children have been focusing on understanding themselves. So, particularly looking at their emotions and their moods and what might affect those emotions and moods throughout the day. How they could change throughout the day and making sure the children understand that sort of thing. Um, how they can affect their time at school, so if, if their emotions are a bit up and down, how that might affect their time at school or their time in the classroom, and what they can do to help themselves regulate their emotions or moods, and what techniques and what things we can do throughout the day to make sure that we stay in what we call the green zone. So our zones here at Kingaroy State School, there are four of them. We've got a green zone, a blue zone, a yellow zone, and a red zone. And, and the green zone is when our brains are nice and calm, um, we're in the learning zone, we can sit down, we're getting our learning done, we're playing nicely out in the playground um, and everything's really great. Blue zone means our brains are starting to bubble a little bit. Um, something might be annoying us or just eating away there at the back of your brain, just sort of niggling away and you can't, having trouble concentrating in class and, and, and you might just be a little bit off. Yellow zone is when you're starting to get a little bit annoyed, a bit angry, a bit frustrated, and you're starting to annoy other people around you, and that might attract the attention of the teacher um, or someone out in the playground. The red zone is really when kids, we call it, flip their lid. So um, they really aren't thinking, um, they're very angry, uh, very frustrated, um, they could be crying, yelling, um, etc. And we really don't want anyone in that red zone. And if they are in the red zone, we'd like to be able to have some techniques to get people out of the red zone and out of the yellow zone and back into the blue and particularly the green zone. And that's one of the things that the children have been working on um, in their classrooms over the last fortnight is looking at what techniques they can do so that if they are in one of our yellow or red zones that they can get themselves back to that learning zone, the green zone. And classes have come up with a number of strategies um, and they're up in each classroom now to help them with their simple little things like talk it out, talk to a friend, talk to a teacher, talk to someone at home, um, draw, have some time out to draw to calm your brain, um, listen to some music, um, it's a particularly popular one, um, colouring is a nice one, we've got lots of colouring activities where kids can just concentrate and that sort of refocuses the brain, um, breathing, um, doing some breathing exercises does help some children. Counting to 10, counting to 3, counting to 5. Just counting and just taking that couple of seconds to think about um, counting rather than being angry can just be, act as a bit of a circuit breaker for kids. And of course some kids just like to sit in a corner and read and they find that that really calms them, whether it's a book or a magazine or something like that, just to calm their brain just for a few minutes. So class has been working on these things over the last two weeks. They fit very nicely with our three school expectations around expect, respect for learning, respect for self and others, and respect for property and environment. And they also work well with our classroom rules, which are the same in every classroom right throughout the entire school. Okay, hopefully that gave you a bit of an insight into what the children have been doing around uh, behaviour and their emotions over the last uh, couple of weeks. And I'll talk to you again in a fortnight. Okay, have a great fortnight, everyone.